we got another through night light here this is the through night t3 this one as you can see is small narrow it has a pocket clip this is going to be for edc carry this one also comes with the sheath there and we're going to go over the specs and see if this one is worth buying right so right off the bat how bright does this get while well, this is going to have a turbo output of 2250 lumens now that is really really bright so if you need a light that is super, super bright, uh, you might want to look into this one. Now this is going to have a step down mode and that's going to be 50 seconds. And then it's going to drop down to 621 lumens for an additional 170 minutes. Before we go on to the rest of the modes here, let me show you what's powering this light. All right, and this one's going to have a bigger battery. This is going to be a 4,000 milliamp, 21,700 battery, 3.6 volts. Now this light, like all through night lights, is going to be waterproof as long as you have a good seal around here make sure it's nice and tight then you can use it out in the rain you can dunk it in the water and you should have no issues whatsoever now as far as the lens goes here this is going to be a smooth reflector and this is going to be running the sst40.1 led the distance is going to be 301 meters on this 22,680 candela and of course this is nice tough rugged you can drop this from 1.5 meters and it should be perfectly fine all right, so let's start off with the Firefly mode on this one. You hold it down. That's going to be your Firefly mode. That's going to be 0.44 lumens. That's going to run 133 days. That's a ridiculous amount. 133 days on the Firefly mode. Click it again to turn it off. Now to turn on the light and go through the rest of the modes, you click it once. And then if you hold down the button, it'll go to its lowest setting. And it'll flash when it's at the lowest and that's going to be 37 lumens and if you guys notice this does have an infinity mode so instead of like steps like low medium high and turbo this is going to have an infinity mode so what you do is just hold down the button and then you can stop it anywhere in between so like i said as far as the low we got 37 lumens that's going to run for 58 hours on that and then we can keep going and going and going until we reach the high on the infinity mode and that's going to be 1077 lumens and if i were to leave this here this is going to go for 40 seconds and then it is going to have a step down and then it'll go to 605 lumens and then run an additional 180 minutes like all their lights you double click and that's going to get you the turbo mode 2250 lumens and then like i mentioned before 50 seconds it's going to run on that and then step down to 621 lumens for additional 170 minutes now apart from that it is going to have a strobe mode you hit it three times one two three that's going to give you a strobe you're also going to have a lockout mode on this one the way you're going to access the lockout mode on this one first you got to get to your firefly mode once you're in your firefly mode you just hold down the button for about four seconds and then that'll get you to your lockout mode so now if you try to turn it on as you guys can see there is an indicator red that's just letting you know that it is in lockout mode now to get out of the lockout mode you just hold down the button again and then that'll get you back into your firefly mode and then you can use it now that's going to be good if you throw this in your pocket throw this in your bag you're worried about it turning on wasting all your battery um, then you have the option of the lockout mode now other than that if you guys notice when the light is on there is a little bit of a light uh, indicator there right now it is blue that's stating that the battery level is between one to hundred percent if you see red on there that means the battery level is somewhere between 11 to 20 percent and then if you see a flashing red on this one that's going to mean that the battery level is from one to ten percent and then if you see absolutely nothing on there, it's because the battery is completely dead and it's time to charge it up. So as far as charging this battery goes, you are gonna have the charging port there. This is gonna be a USB-C and there is a cable provided. And then when you're ready to use it, just make sure that you completely plug this up. If you're out in the rain, you don't want any water to get in there. So as long as it's nice and tight in there, then you should have no issue using it out in the water. It does have a double-sided clip. You can use this pocket down pocket up or you can use it with the sheath so it has a lot of options as far as carrying it goes it even has a lanyard on there or you can throw it in your pocket you can throw it in a bag as far as this being magnetized unfortunately this is not magnetized which is a bummer i really do like the magnetized options allows me to you know 
stick it onto something metal and use it hands-free. Uh, as far as standing it up, it has a pretty large base so you can stand it up. Um, any way you stand it up, it's going to stand up perfectly just fine. Overall, it's a very nice rugged light, but let's take this outside now and see how bright this thing is. Alright guys and that was it tell me what you guys thought about this light i personally like this light it's super super bright it's really actually not very heavy i usually like to carry something a little bit smaller in my pocket but again this one comes with a sheath so it doesn't take up any space in your pocket if you want to use it that way very nice light from through night and if you guys are interested in this one i will leave a link down below where you can pick this one up but definitely another nice light to add to your edc collection all right guys that was it for today hope this video helped you out if you guys are looking for a brand new light thanks for watching and we'll see you guys next time